5 neat ways to choose an engagement ring. An engagement ring is a status symbol that every guy desires to present to his fiancé when he pops the ultimate question. Harmless as this ring is. Its cost implication could be devastating on both the guy and the new home that is to be established. According to the New York Times. With an average ring selling for $4,000. Choosing an engagement with little or no knowledge of how to get an affordable one could affect payment of student loans. Mortgages. And even the proper wedding expenses. Here are five neat ways to choose an awesome engagement ring without breaking the bank. Having a budget when choosing an engagement ring for your beloved will guide you to choose wisely within your financial means. You don't have to break the bank or run into debt in order to secure the commitment of your beloved. Gather enough information about the average prices of engagement rings as well as places to get them at lower prices. Making up your mind on how much to spend on an engagement ring before doing the purchase will keep you from going overboard. The interesting fact is that there is an engagement ring for everybody. Irrespective of the amount you are ready to spend. Bear it in mind that an engagement is an occasion for celebration. Not to run into a financial mess. Every now and then, used engagement rings are put up for sale. While some sell their engagement ring in order to overcome the disappointment of a failed relationship. Others do so to have an upgrade. If you search where these rings are likely to be sold. You are likely to get a ridiculous 20% minus 40% discount off regular retail prices. College bulletins. Online stores. Social media pages like Facebook. And focused blogs like your diamond teacher are veritable sources of information on used engagement rings. Also. Visiting neighborhood or indoor yard sales could be a breakthrough in your search for an affordable engagement ring. All you need do is ensure to get the ring appraised. Or get a certificate of appraisal for the ring. More often than not, the best bargains aren't found on the first few searches. You must be ready to search far and near in order to get the best bargains. Ask your friends and colleagues about how and where to get an engagement ring without breaking the bank. Ride on the experiences of the people that have walked that road before you. Visiting different jewelry stores to ascertain what they have and compare prices might not be a bad idea. Carry out an online search for a list of jewelry stores and get their prices. Also. A visit to antique stores would help give your search for an awesome engagement ring a new perspective. The idea of a diamond engagement ring was initiated by De Beers some decades ago. And has since been the toast of all and sundry. That it is a tradition doesn't mean it can't be changed. Getting a ring other than diamond shouldn't be off the table. There are several precious gemstones that come cheaper than a diamond. Buying an engagement ring that isn't a diamond doesn't reduce the value you place on the occasion itself. Moissanite white sapphire and cubic zirconia are precious gemstones that you could choose from they come cheaper than diamonds and rank high on the scale of hardness though not as hard as diamonds while a diamond ranks 10 on the scale of hardness moissanite ranks 9.25 and a carat of moissanite is sold for half the price of diamond white sapphire on the other hand costs a quarter of diamond though diamond is about four times harder Cubic zirconia is also a much cheaper gem stone that weighs 8.5 on the hardness scale and goes for one-tenth of a diamond. Your proposal with an engagement ring is an expression of your deep-seated personal feelings. Not a dogmatic cue from popular culture. Therefore, don't hesitate to get a real gem-free metal that adequately expresses the emotions you feel. Metal-only engagement rings come in different styles and suit the conservative lady who isn't disposed to much flashiness. Mixed metals. A traditional Irish clad a ring that symbolizes loyalty and love. A knotted metal ring. A plain metal ring with an inscription or personal message. Or a twisted plain metal ring or a few of the several alternatives to an expensive diamond ring. Tegan Jones Tegan is a passionate journalist. Writer and editor. She writes about lifestyle tips on Lifehack. Read full profile. You've just hit the gym for an hour. Or maybe you just came back from a long run. You need a post-workout snack because of all the nutrients you've lost. But you're unsure what to eat. While you're likely wondering what to eat after a workout. Knowing which foods you should never eat after a workout is just as important. Here is a comprehensive list of foods you should never eat after a workout. Regardless of how much you might be craving them. Yes. You read that correctly. While raw vegetables are essential to a healthy and balanced diet. They don't make for good post-workout foods. This is because you've just lost a great deal of vitamins, minerals, 
and nutrients while exercising, and raw veggies simply aren't substantial enough to supplement them. This is, perhaps, the only time where such low-calorie foods actually work against you. You need extra grams of protein and fiber in order to replenish your stores and help to build muscle tissue. So, by all means, have some raw vegetables post-workout, just make sure you balance it with something that offers protein or fiber. For example, you can have celery sticks a delicious yogurt-based dip or peanut butter. Or carrots with hummus. As previously mentioned, the body needs fiber after a workout. It also needs high-quality carbs in order to replace the glycogen in your system. Despite the fact that pastries contain both of these things, they are not on the list of what to eat after a workout. Pastries are full of unhealthy carbohydrates, as well as salt, sugar, fat, and calories. Instead, opt for whole grain or multigrain toast or some raw nuts. These contain good carbs, and the nuts will supply good fats. This may seem a bit obvious, but a great deal of people find that they crave chocolate or something else sweet after exercising. This is because they have lost sugars during their workout, and their body is telling them that they need more. Milk chocolate is full of bad fats and glucose both of which are terrible for your health. If you're craving something sweet, have some fresh fruit. Or, if you really can't control that chocolate craving, try a piece of dark chocolate instead. Preferably 70% cocoa or higher. Dark chocolate contains a great deal of, of antioxidants that not only fight free radicals in your body, but also work as an anti-inflammatory, which is what you need after a workout. One recent research review pointed out that data from numerous studies suggest that cocoa and cocoa-derived flavanols can effectively modify the inflammatory process. This is great news for your body. This is another obvious one. But it's definitely worth mentioning. Similar to sugar, salt is something you can crave after a workout. Again, this is because it needs replenishing in your body. It can be tempting to grab something quick and easy, such a burger or fries, but they will be detrimental to your diet you won't be replacing the right kind of fats or salts in your body. And you'll be adding a large dose of bad trans fats. In addition, you'll be undoing all of the great work you did during your exercise. As an alternative, try a potassium-rich banana or some avocado. These both contain healthy fats and have enough calories to satisfy your hungry body. These should be on your list of foods you should never eat after a workout for exactly the same reasons as fast food. Those potato chips may seem tempting, but what you really need is to replenish those potassium stores. Step away from the Doritos and hold tight to the aforementioned banana. One study suggested that, due to sodium's benefits in helping fluid absorption in the body, it can be beneficial to drink a sports drink that includes sodium. But only if you exercise for more than four hours. Most of us stick to workouts that only last an hour or two. So extra salt intake after a workout is generally unnecessary. If you're wondering what to eat after a workout, you may start listening to your body, which is likely craving sugar after a workout. However, that doesn't mean that you should be reaching for a bag of candy. Besides the obvious high-calorie issue of sugar-filled snacks, there is another important reason to avoid them. Sugar isn't only high in calories. It's also known to damage your metabolism. One study explained that the fructose component in sugar causes dysregulation of lipid and carbohydrate metabolism. In simple terms, this means that added sugars, like those found in fruit juices, gets in the way of your metabolism's natural regulation. I know. I know. Energy bars are known for aiding your workout. Although this is true, they're only beneficial before exercise. This is due to their high sugar levels. Among other things which makes them great for a pre-workout snack because they increase your energy levels. However, post-workout, they will slow down your metabolism and make it difficult for you to fall asleep. This is a huge problem if you're a nighttime exerciser. When making your list of what to eat after a workout, don't include soda. In addition to all of the aforementioned damage that high sugar foods and beverages can do, there is another reason to avoid soda after a workout, it makes you bloat. This may be due to the extra artificial sweeteners in soda. Highly processed and fat-filled cheeses, such as mozzarella or cheddar, are foods to avoid as a post-workout snack, regardless of how delicious they are. If you really need a cheese fix, cottage cheese is a great option as it has a high water content and many health benefits. Throw in some pineapple or peach chunks to add in a burst of good sugars. In general, 
Eggs are a fantastic source of protein and choline, which is needed for a healthy heart, after you exercise. However, frying them up is a mistake. This is because they usually get fried in butter or oil, both of which are saturated fats, in order to get the most out of your eggs without damaging your health. Eat them hard-boiled or scrambled with a bit of olive oil. If you're trying to lower your cholesterol, only eat the egg whites. If you have given your time and energy to a great workout, it's important to know what to eat after a workout so you don't undo all the great work you've just put in. Avoid the foods on this list and replace them with some of the alternatives I've suggested. You'll keep yourself healthy and reap the benefits of your workout. Eat this. Not that 20 foods you should never eat after a workout nutrients, effective cocoa and its flavonoids on biomarkers of inflammation, studies of cell culture. Animals and humans cedars sinai, in case you need a reason to eat more avocado journal of sports sciences, fluid and fuel intake during exercise crit rev clin lab sci, sugar consumption. Metabolic disease and obesity, the state of the controversy Forbes, here's what you should eat post-workout. According to a nutrition coach. Text source, lifehack.org.